Ateen actually believes Eminem is her father. During an appearance on the Dr. Phil show, a teen named Haley had an old photo posted on her Facebook which she claims is of her and her father Eminem. Haley claims that her mom has a bunch of pictures of a guy that looks just like Eminem and that in the pictures Haley is sitting on his lap. Now coincidentally enough, Eminem does actually have a daughter whose name is Haley who is 21. But the girl who appeared on the Dr. Phil show is clearly not her. After claiming to have pictures of herself sitting on Eminem's lap as a child, Haley's sister tells Dr. Phil that the man in the pictures is just a family friend. Haley's mom said that she knows who her dad is, but Haley insists that her dad is the rapper. She even said she tried contacting him through Instagram to get a DNA test done. And that on Eminem's Facebook page, he has a baby picture of her. Haley's whole reasoning for this rapper not knowing about her is because she was switched at birth. Yet she also claims that she has pictures of the two of them when she was a baby. So yeah, it doesn't really add up. Throughout the interview, Dr. Phil tries to talk some sense into this guest. But it doesn't seem to be going anywhere since the teen is adamant that Eminem and her are blood relatives. It has since been revealed that Dr. Phil's guest has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Along with Dr. Phil and the support of her family, a solid effort is being made in hopes of helping this teen realize that Eminem is in fact not her father and get her the help that she needs. Hey everyone and welcome back to LPM Court McGinley. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Saturday. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend so far. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so. It's super easy. All you have to do is hit that big subscribe button down there. Also, while you're down in that area anyways, you might as well give this video a big thumbs up so we can keep bringing you awesome news videos. Also, I have some exciting news for you guys. In the next week or two, Landon will be back on this channel and we will be giving you guys videos during the week again. So that's super exciting. Alright, as always we have a lot of interesting stories headed your way so without any further ado, let's get started. Next, police have now revealed what was on a note found next to the Vegas gunman's body. As you guys know, last Sunday in Las Vegas, 59 people were killed and hundreds more were injured when a gunman opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel on festival goers at the Route 91 Harvest Festival. This has been reported as the worst mass shooting in modern US history. The gunman has been identified as Stephen Paddock. According to authorities, a note containing a cryptic series of numbers was found next to the gunman's body after he committed suicide. As of now, it's not known what the numbers relate to. Investigators are also looking into whether Steven was planning to detonate a car bomb. This is because traces of materials which can be used to make explosives have been found in his car and at his home. Not only was Steven shooting at the crowd, but it was uncovered that he also attempted to shoot a large fuel tank at a nearby airport. The tank was found with two bullets in the side of the outer shell. Police have also said clues shown that Steven actually intended to escape and cause more damage as 1,600 rounds of ammunition were found in his car at the hotel parking lot. And what's even scarier is that before checking into Mandalay Bay, Stephen also rented a room at another hotel which looked over another festival. Many of his victims still remain in the hospital and our thoughts are with them. Next, an international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons wins the 2017 Nobel Peace Prize. This group was honored with the prize after they drew attention to the catastrophic humanitarian consequences of using nuclear weapons as well as the groundbreaking efforts to achieve a treaty based prohibition of such weapons. It has been said that it would only take minutes for a nuclear weapon to reach the UK from North Korea. And because of this, there are secret bunkers around the English countryside where people can hide if an attack does happen. Next in entertainment news, Rush Hour 4 is officially happening. The first film came out all the way back in 1998 and it was a hit. The latest installment of the franchise came out in 2007, so that's like 10 years ago. We pretty much gave up all hope that a part 4 would be coming out. But this past week Jackie Chan has said, For the last 7 years we've been turning down the script. Yesterday we just agreed. The script, probably at the end of the month, will have a second draft and next year we will probably start. If Chris Tucker agrees. Well a few years ago the film's producer said that Chris was one 100% on board, so let's hope that's still the case. Next, I have some rather shocking and disappointing news for you guys. Netflix has decided to raise their prices and people are pissed. That's right, for the second time in just two years, Netflix decided to raise their prices yet again. A monthly standard plan is jumping from $9.99 to $10.99. And if you have a premium plan, then it's going from $11.99 to $13.99. Netflix justification for the bump in the price is because they believe the increase in the quality of their streaming site more than makes up for the extra couple bucks that their customers 
dollars we'll be spending. In a statement, the company wrote, From time to time, Netflix plans and pricing are adjusted as we add more exclusive TV shows and movies, including new product features and improve the overall Netflix experience to help members find something great to watch even faster. Now, I have to admit, they really are improving their platform. I mean, look, in the last two years alone, we've gotten some amazing shows, such as Stranger Things and 13 Reasons Why. Now, while this is disappointing and customers are upset, I do think it's justified. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want the price to increase, but they are providing a really good service for a fair price. The company has reportedly already begun raising prices in the US and will begin raising prices for all current subscribers on October 19th. Next, Glee star Mark Sailing has pled guilty to possession of child pornography. This case first started back in 2015 when investigators found 25,000 still images of child pornography, 600 videos depicting child porn, and 29,000 images of child erotica. These were on his laptop, thumb drives, and hard drives. The document describes examples of the content depicting children, some as young as three years old. The former Glee star has struck a plea deal in his child pornography case. After pleading guilty, prosecutors are recommending that he be sentenced to four to seven years in prison. For something so disgusting, he should definitely be sentenced to way longer than seven years. Under the terms of his deal, Mark must register as a sex offender and enter a treatment program. He is also forbidden from communicating with anyone under the age of 18 unless a parent is present. And upon his release from prison, he must stay 100 feet away from schools, parks, public pools, playgrounds, and arcades. Basically anywhere kids hang out. Finally, he must make full restitution to each victim of the offense, which is $50,000 per victim. Well, there you have it. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.